As the world changes and technology advances, it is more important than ever to stay ahead of the curve. And in today's digital age, one of the most important skills you can have is the ability to communicate effectively with chatbots. Enter ChatGPT, the cutting edge chatbot language model that is completely revolutionizing the way that we communicate with artificial intelligence. With ChatGPT, you'll be able to hold intelligent conversations with chatbots, access a wealth of knowledge and information, and even complete tasks faster and much more efficiently. But here's the thing, if you do not start learning ChatGPT now, you will fall behind. Your competitors will be using it to their advantage and you will be left in the dust. The choice is yours. Will you fall behind or will you embrace the future and become a master of ChatGPT today? It's called ChatGPT, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. So I'll tell you what ChatGPT is, just so you know, because you need to know this. Gutenberg press level? It's something like that. This is a big deal. It's smarter than you. And it's gonna be a hell of a lot smarter than you in two years. Hello everyone, my name is Drake Sirach, and thank you for tuning into this tutorial on how to use ChatGPT. In order to use ChatGPT to its maximum potential, I believe there are five things that everyone needs to understand. Number one, how ChatGPT works. Number two, what can ChatGPT do? Number three, how to use ChatGPT. Number four, the best practices for using ChatGPT. And finally, number five, the limitations of ChatGPT. So we are going to dive into the first two. How does ChatGPT work? and what can it do? So this can be very confusing, but I'm going to break it down in the simplest way possible. ChatGPT is a special computer program that can talk to people just like humans. It can hold conversations, answer questions, and even do tasks like humans can. To make ChatGPT talk like a human, the people who created it showed it a bunch of conversations that other people have had. They showed it so many conversations that it learned what to say in certain situations and how humans actually talk. So when somebody types in an input in ChatGPT, it uses what it has learned in those conversations in order to formulate a response. So ChatGPT is very good at having conversations and answering questions. Although it can only understand what it's been trained on, so there might be some things that it doesn't know or that it doesn't understand. But ChatGPT is a very cool tool that can help you learn things faster, do things faster, and it's like having a very smart friend that knows the answer to everything. So now let's hop onto my computer and I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples so you can build off that and use it to its maximum potential with whatever you need in your life. So here we are on the homepage after you put in your information, verify your phone number and your email you will arrive at chat.openai.com slash chat. And this is basically the homepage. I'm sure you've seen this before. If you haven't, right off the bat, you'll notice that it gives you a few examples here that you can quickly hit and it will put it into your input box down here. And this is the button to send that prompt off to get answered. Um, it, it lists a couple capabilities and some limitations, which I will get into later. But this is a very basic setup for the power that it has. So. Let's just type in our first example. In order to do this, all you have to do is type whatever you want. So I'm just going to type in how to make a pizza. Hit enter. And within seconds, it will give me a recipe on how to make a pizza. You'll see it generate live. And this is something that isn't too mind boggling. You know, you could go on Google and probably find a better recipe than the ChatGPT recipe although I can't say that for myself because I haven't tried it yet. I'm just saying it's easy to go on Google and quickly find a pizza recipe. Uh, that's not really the point of ChatGPT to give you pizza recipes in my opinion, but this is just an example. As you can see, that's pretty awesome that it can list out the ingredients, instructions, and everything within a matter of a couple seconds. So now let's do something a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna hit new chat in the upper left-hand corner. And one thing in my life that I felt was very time consuming and that took up a lot of time was writing graduation letters to all of those that came to my graduation party. Now, if I had something like ChatGPT back then, I surely would have been using it and typed in something like, write me a graduation thank you letter to someone who I appreciated coming to my graduation party and being a, a part of my life. And I'm going to hit enter. And what it's going to do is write out an entire thank you letter with 
very heartfelt words and a very heartfelt message. And as you can see, it just generated that entire graduation thank you letter that would have taken me probably 30 to 45 minutes to come up with something this beautiful and this in depth. And it did it in a matter of about 30 seconds. So I know what some probably think, and I even think this a little bit myself, is this is going to take that organic feel out of human connections. And it's not that heartfelt. But when you have 80 letters to write and you are generally a busy person, something like this might be a great idea, not necessarily for graduation letters, but for anything writing related that takes time, this is a very, very efficient way to get it done. And it's a big time saver. Now let me show you something else very cool. So let's say that I wanted to use ChatGPT to write out all my graduation thank you letters, but I didn't want to use the same message in all of them. Well, what I could do is type in, write me five variations of this letter. And what ChatGPT is going to do is write out five different variations that I can then cycle out and add in different names where I feel best fit. And the awesome thing is, is this is all being done in less than a minute. And there you go, it only took about one minute to write five different variations of this letter. And in total, it probably took around two minutes to generate a beautiful letter with five different variations. So as of right now, you can probably see the power of this, not just to be lazy and have a computer do all your work for you, but to free up some time to do things such as your goals and your tasks that you need to get done on a day-to-day -day basis. So next I'm going to show you the best practices for using ChatGPT. You know, you kind of have the rundown on how you sign up and how you can type in basic prompts and how you can write different variations of those prompts. But now we're going to talk about some best practices when actually getting in and learning more about ChatGPT and how to use it to your advantage so you can leverage it in your work life and your personal life. So the first way to be mindful of your practices when using ChatGPT is to clearly define the task you want it to run. So I'm a web developer and if I type in something like write me JavaScript for a slider, that's pretty broad. But if I give dimensions and I give functionalities of what I want that slider to do, then the code that it generates is going to be a lot better for what I need. So now what I've asked it to do is write me JavaScript code for a before and after slider. It is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And this is pretty basic still, but it is a little bit more descriptive rather than if I would have typed in write me JavaScript code for a slider. I gave dimensions and I also wanted it to be a before and after slider. So now when I send off the prompt, as you can see, it generated the code completely and they even have a little copy code button up here so you can easily implement it into your website. Down here is what I really enjoy. It tells you what it's created and it's also telling you what you need to replace when you actually get this and implement it into whatever you want to implement it in. So the possibilities are really endless when it comes to ChatGPT. And the thing that I like most about it is that when you're in your chat thread, that the conversation stays relevant to your first message. So you can start a bunch of new chat threads when you're in ChatGPT and you can keep asking questions or making comments or revising the current conversation that you're in. And that's what, in my opinion, makes it so powerful is it's like you can have a whole conversation. Now let's jump into some of the very few limitations that ChatGPT has so you aren't blindsided when you start typing in some inputs. Since this model is still fairly new, it may occasionally generate wrong information. My brother actually sent this pretty funny picture to me. It um, compares the amount of brain connections ChatGPT has and uh, ChatGPT4 will have to the brains of animals and uh, humans. I'll throw that up on the screen right now. So this is where ChatGPT3 currently is. It's equivalent to the brain of a hedgehog and ChatGPT4 will be equivalent to the Eastern gray squirrel. I don't know why I thought that was funny. Shout out to Hot Ellipsin for the chart. I thought that was a very interesting data source. The next limitation is it may produce harmful or biased content. While it is a powerful model, it still may generate irrelevant or nonsensical information, some of which could be harmful or even biased. Because once again, it's been trained on a large amount of human conversations. And if those conversations happen to be biased towards something, then that is why ChatGPT would be biased in some situations. And the last limitation is it has limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021. I'm sure once ChatGPT4 comes out, it will be a little bit more relevant, and I'm excited to see how that is. The next step is learning how to use ChatGPT to make you money. Subscribe if you're new and like this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.